Hey everybody! Welcome back to Brick Building Fun! Today we're gonna have fun building with these bricks right here. This is Oni Mongoose from Halo Mega Constructs. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Build, build, build. I'm just doing slow builds now, so I hope you like those. If you, if you don't, then put on some music and speed up this video. And then you'll have a similar experience to my others. Here we go, we've got some bags of goodies. Always fun to get some goodies. Um, they're not in any particular order. They don't do like Lego does. Instead, they kind of group pieces according to, you know, piece type. So, got some wheels there. Oh, we've got our figure here. There he is. We gotta build him. That'll be fun. I might fast forward through that. Maybe. We'll see. You will find out soon if I do. I won't know for another... Uh, 30 minutes or so. Let's open all these first before I decide to do that or not. Got some red pieces and black pieces here. How fun. We got more red pieces and some gray. No, red. More black pieces. And some gray and a clear piece here that you can't see because it's invisible. Ooh. And turn down my computer speakers so you don't get bothered by all my notifications. Alright, and I need some instructions. Where are they? There they are. Got them. Got them! Alright, now, step number the first. Oh, wait, wait. This dude. Step number the first is to build this dude, so I'll do that. Okay. Now, I hope you all have a good supply of Lego sets to build during this crisis that's going on right now. You know the one I'm talking about. Let's see, we got this piece here, this piece here, goes in there. Uh, I need a blue thing. This blue thing? Um, yes. There we go. And that goes into the torso, like so. Oh, a little more. You gotta push it up until it snaps. That's when you know it's in there enough. Got very uh, well articulated arms. Let's see. Now we need to put some leg pieces on, and it looks like the leg the legs are mostly done for us. At least the legs themselves. They're not actually put on for us. There we go. I'll have to make sure I put my head somewhere, somewhere down here, or here. I don't know. Okay, now, oh, um, I was supposed to put some armor on this leg, so we'll take this leg off. We'll go like, uh, like this. That seem right to you? Yeah, yeah, that seems all right leg back on. 
other leg off. So this armor, maybe it's full of pouches. Maybe it's Rob Liefeld leg armor. There we go. They didn't both get put on the same exact um, height on the leg, but whatever. It's it's pretty good. It's good enough. Not as perfect as the transcript, but pretty good. Okay. And then this. What does this do? Okay, it goes like this. And there we go. And then the arm armor, the shoulder pad thingies. I don't know if it matters how you put them on, but it shows them going on about the way I'm doing it. So like this, if you can see that, if you can see that, if not, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Now we'll start on step one. This is an 89 piece set. Should not be difficult to put together. As long as we're not missing any pieces. Mega Constructs likes to likes to mess with us like that somehow so, sometimes. One of those and one of these. There we go. Maybe I'll zoom you on in here so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. I'm going to take this guy, put this on here like so. Just like that. And then... Okay, this piece goes here. Like that. This piece goes like this and this piece goes right here right there it's as far back as that goes okay now we're gonna want to do the opposites with the pieces facing the other way Yep, yep. There we go. There we go and right? Oh no no no. I don't need I don't need another one of these because they're everything's just going on the other side. So there we go. There. Um there and that goes on like so and that goes on like so there we go we got one of these things like this isn't that cool now got RuneScape going on on my computer over here so every now and then I need to, to wiggle the mouse to make sure it doesn't uh, doesn't log me out okay here we go here we go one of these a couple of these and one of these. If anyone out there is also a RuneScape enthusiast, let me know 
I've been playing the game since uh, November of 2001. Right now, um, not counting archaeology, my lowest skill is dungeoneering, which is 94. So, almost all my skills are 99 at this point. And that is pretty awesome. Okay, this goes here. This goes here. Right now, I'm working on... Um, Okay, so I'm working on invention right now in the game. Okay, so this goes like this. Yeah, okay. So you're going to get one of these. Let's see. One of these pieces and one of these pieces. I'm just going to be super boring for these for these um, videos because ah this whole situation, this whole virus situation, has got me mentally tired. We've been homeschooling the kids, the boys. Mr. Vines and the Mysterious Stranger. And they're not really enjoying it. <laughs> Neither are we. But now the school has us doing assignments that are meant to be turned in. And they're telling us to access these websites that don't always want to work. Let's see. Oh, here's a weird piece. Look at that weirdo. That crazy thing. Okay. Okay. But as with a lot of things, I don't know, it's just a matter of using the right browser. But I don't like being forced to use particular browsers, you know? I like, uh, on my own computer, I use, uh, what is this browser? Uh, Vivaldi. Vivaldi's a pretty good browser. Let's see. I used to use, um... Uh, Opera all the time, but... Not anymore. They are not good. Let's see. I had this problem where they kept on popping up ads for um, travel companies and uh, not interested and the, the the ads would come up in my um, my speed dial page I don't want things that I don't put there popping up there very annoying. Let's see. Oh, I need... <clears throat> Here we go. A one by three piece that has holes in it so that these red things can go through it. I don't know what these red things are for. I guess they reinforce it. Oh, oh, oh. They also make it trickier to build. There we go. Got one of those. Looking pretty cool so far. If I do say so myself. Here. Uh, here and here. And one of these. So. We got... If you take this piece. This piece here. Put that there. Do that and that. There we go. So hopefully you can figure out how to orient that. And that's going to go down It's going to 
gonna go down right here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Right there. Okay, and then we're gonna do the opposite. Where are you? There you are. So you don't have to work too hard to figure out the orientation of things, because... Let's see... Oh, these are both the same way. I need an opposite. There we go. This down here like so. This here. See, once you do one side, the other side is easy. There we go. And that goes down right there like that. There we go. So now we got these two pieces kind of facing inward, you see. Okay, next. There we go. One by three and one of these. There we go. So this goes right here like that. So that there's one spot there open. And then this is going to go on that spot like so. And then another one by three. It's a very odd number oriented set here. We've got a cool printed piece here. It's like a, like a pyramid. See that? Pyramid. And that's going to go in the middle. And that's going to go across there. There we go. Now we're going to need a few more pieces. Still got a lot more pieces to go. It's not many pieces, but it seems like a lot. But that is just the way the tennis ball bounces sometimes. One of these. One of these. You know, for a long time with this channel, for years, really, I was trying so hard to gather an audience. And I guess I was kind of successful with that to an extent. I mean, I got like 130 subscribers in, what, six years? And it's frustrating. Because I think my videos are pretty cool, but I guess not a lot of other people were too interested in them, and whatever, that's fine. I'm not interested in everything either. Um, but the thing that bugged me was that I was making so many little compromises, doing so many things that I didn't really want to be doing for the sake of getting more people to watch these. And so I go on a hiatus for a while and I come back because of, you know, the virus and you know, I just want to do it this way. I just want to do these slow builds right here at my desk and if nobody wants to watch them fine this will just be a hobby then I was kinda hoping to be able to make a little money doing this doing this channel but no one wants to give on patreon and YouTube doesn't want to monetize because not enough people want to watch so whatever. I have another job now. I, I did just recently find a job copywriting. Fortunately, I'm not writing advertisements. That would be terrible. Nope, I'm writing curriculum for a educational sort of uh, organization. So it's very cool. So now I should be able to fund this 
this uh, channel a bit better. I'm still not going to try and do videos every week like I was. That was a lot of work. And it's a lot to promise. You know, I wasn't always able to deliver and it felt like I was letting people down. I don't I don't make any more promises about when I'm going to make videos. I'm just making them when I can. When I feel like it. I do have a little backlog, as you can't see behind me there. Um, yeah, I got the Harry Potter bus. I got a big Unikitty set. Got good deals. I don't pay full price for Lego sets anymore. And I think I'm going to end up doing more Mega Constructs than anything else. So I hope you like Mega Constructs. Let's see. I still like Lego too. They still are the higher quality building toy. Hmm. Oh, here we go. One of these. But Mega Constructs for the price is a better deal, generally speaking. Until you go to sets like the like that dragon from uh, Game of Dragons. That's a bit. Uh, it's a bit too rich for me. Sixty dollars. But I like the Pokemon sets. Still want to get that Eevee set. Hmm. Is this right? What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Hmm. Am I using the right piece here? Oh, flip this over. Okay, okay, now I got it. Now I know what I'm doing. So now I need another one of these. Another one of these. Here we go. And this goes... I would assume facing out, yes. And one of these. So, stick that in there. Oh, I was supposed to put this through first. Alright, let's just uh, take that out. Stick it through. Put it back in. It goes in very loosely, but it's going to be held tight enough. There we go. Okay. Now keep it flipped. Keep it flipped over. Because now we're going to do this piece, this piece, and this piece. This looks very dark in the... Uh, in the picture, in the the monitor, whatever, the screen. I'm going to have to brighten it up a lot. That's okay, I can do that. Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to have to do it like this. Okay. So you sort of put this on there upside down -ally, you see? And that's going to go like so. Oh. <laughs> well... Press it down before you let it go, so it doesn't just fly off. Um, and before you do that, make sure it's tucked in. Put this thing to bed. I guess it's supposed to look like a spare tire or something? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't have all the answers, you know? I have all the wrong answers. How about that? I can give you all the wrong answers you want. Okay. You see me looking over. I'm looking at my... Playing my game while I do this. Maybe sometime I'll screen capture my... Uh, my What's going on on my screen, too, so you can watch me build and play at the same time. Hey, there's a gimmick. Wouldn't that be fun and entertaining? Okay, now we got wheels. Huh. That's weird. Okay, I'm going to tell you in a second what's weird. 
Because something weird is going on here. Um, okay, that looks interesting. Uh, this dude, this Mr. Dude Man, probably a man. Actually, isn't Master Chief like a robot? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe he's not. Um, sit down. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't sit on nubs or anything. Hmm. Is there a way he's supposed to get on this? He drives this like he's standing up. Ah, I pulled his head off trying to get him to look up. Um... See, usually the cool thing about Mega Constructs is that you can pose the figures driving in their vehicles, you know, like they're really doing it. But it doesn't really work with this. Either that or maybe I did something wrong, but I don't think so. No, looks right. But there we go. He's, he's like this, I guess. I could stand him up on the on the stand here, but I don't know. I'm not going to do it right now. There we go. It rolls. Now the weird thing is we have a whole lot of extra pieces. Now of course we have his rocket launcher, his bazooka thing here, his bazooka Joe, and a rocket, and this clear thing. But then we also, I'll show you, let's, let's put them all in the frame. We have all these extra pieces. Now this is a switch from the usual thing where we have not enough pieces. I've got like enough pieces f to build this whole thing again. Now let's see. The instructions, yeah, the instructions say it's only supposed to come with one of these and one of these. Yeah, okay, I did that right, good. Um, but this came with two of each. So, good luck for me, I guess. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, good job, Mega Constructs. You pleasantly surprised me this time with extra pieces. Though, so that was the Oni Mongoose from Mega Constructs Halo. Hope you all enjoyed that. I will see you, yes, you personally, next time.